You guys sent me your own versions of my channel mascot, MB, and I chose six of them to redraw in my own style for my MBversary contest I announced a little over a month ago. MB is what I consider the embodiment of creativity and represents how art can evolve and be interpreted in many different ways. You guys really understood the assignment of keeping the iconic features of MB like the swirl, the cute face, and the small body, and incorporating it into your own vision. In this video, I'll be showcasing the ones that I redrew with their time lapses and why I picked them. I'll also be showing off and complimenting every entry in this contest and putting all of them along with the winners front and center on a big collage which will be a part of my social banners. Before jumping in, I just want to say that I appreciate all of you that entered. There were over 130 entries and they were all so awesome and genuinely inspiring. Originally, I was just going to choose three, but I had to double that amount because I couldn't do only three to satisfy my conscience. And even that wasn't enough. This video was extremely hard to make for that aspect alone, as I know how it feels to enter something and think, well, he's not going to pick me, I'm not special. But I have to state that this contest wasn't about skill. It was about getting people to be a part of a creative community, and by simply giving it a shot, you had as fair of a chance as anyone. I hope that by still showcasing the people who didn't win and saying what I like about their entry can alleviate any negative feelings. Trust me when I say I wanted to draw all of them, but unfortunately I have limited time. With that being said, this video from this point on will be pretty unscripted and casual. So if you don't mind hearing me just ramble, then I hope you enjoy. If not, there will be timestamps down below. Thank you guys so much and congratulations to the winners. All the final art that I made plus the collage image will be available to download in the description. So for the first winner, we got Vincent, who created this watermelon one that you see on the thumbnail. And I really like this one. Um, it's such a simple thing, making MB a watermelon, but I think it works really well. I definitely took some of my own artistic liberties and stuff with this one. Um, but I just think making a watermelon is just so fun. And they made it have such a fun expression. I kept a little slice taken out of it and I made the like aura around it, the watermelon juice and all those seeds inside of it. Basically I kind of made the lore of it where it makes itself a seedless watermelon so people can enjoy it. Um, I made the eyes kind of glow like with this blue to kind of symbolize like uh, some sort of water energy inside of it. And then the swirl on top is just the pattern of the watermelon. You know, watermelons have those like stripey patterns. Overall, this was just a really simple and fun one to do and I just really enjoyed it. So thank you, Vincent. Okay, so first we have Eggy, which is based on an Easter egg. I really like the way this one looks. I like the little patterns and I love that you made an Easter based one. And honestly, I would love it if you would let me use this one for, or at least use the design of it for um, an Easter one for the future. I love how he gave it ears, and I like the little ornamentation at the bottom. I think it's a really cool idea. Here is a bubby, which is based on water and bubbles, and it's water type. You didn't have to give the MBs a type, but if you really wanted to, then I was gonna put it. You also didn't have to give it a name, but I did give the winner ones a name if they didn't have one. This is also a pretty good concept of just showing how simple MB is just to turn into something like a water bubble. I think it just fits really well. This one by Christmas Octo is a candle, which is really, really cool. I like the whole fire aspect to it, and it definitely reminds me of my cake MB that I made. These next bunches are from my Discord mod, Eon, and he he had the most amount of entries, so um, seemed like they had a lot of fun with this one. The first one is Slimby, which is based on the slime from Dragon Quest. It fits, obviously, it fits really, really well. <laughs> I like that he photoshopped the just MB onto the slime. Somehow it looks like it's literally from the game. Um, then we have Clocky, which I really, really like. I think MB fit really well into this. I like that the hands of the clock are the mouth. And I like the little swirl on the dial thing at the bottom. I think that's really cool. And then we have MB Nana based on a banana. Very interesting, I like bananas, so. Um, and I'm sure the Yiga would also like this one. Then we have Yermbi. <laughs> it's a fun name. It's based on fireworks and the new year. It's wearing the 2024 glasses. I like the colors, it's pretty cool. And then we have Imbear. They made two of them, which are based on stuffed bears. 
I actually really like the first one, even though it's not like chibi, like how MB normally is. I really like how you can tell that it's MB influenced from just the eyes and the swirl on its stomach. I think it works pretty well. And then we have Rotimbi, which is based on Rotom, which honestly, MB definitely reminds me of Rotom a lot. I That was not intentional when I made it, but I can definitely see the resemblance now. And then we have MB Ball, which is based on, I'm assuming, a Pokeball. I just put ball in the description, but it kind of looks like some sort of Pokeball. And yeah, I like it. I think it's cute. Next, we have a few from Bob Fred. Um, they made Rocky, which is a rock one. This is another good example of just how simple just something like a rock could be for MB. And the little swirl is like a rune symbol. And then they made um, Iron Flame and Anger Fur, which are paradox forms of MB. I really, really like this one. I specifically like the Anger Fur one. I don't know why. I just it, it just fits to me. I like how the fire is basically like hair. And I like the little mad look it has. Very, very cute. This one's by the MG, which is Quartzy. And I actually was in the Discord while they were drawing it live. It was really, really fun and cool. And I really love the colors. I'm a big sucker for like purple and green. So, um, and I like how the gems are mimicking the eyes. I'm also just really, really big fan of like gems and stuff. And I think a geode is a pretty clever idea and fits perfectly with Envy. This one's by Nishi. It's a biblically accurate angel. <laughs> I love all the little MB faces going on the rings. I think that's so fun. These were made by Kappa and they did a few as well. And I really, really love um, your art style. I think it's very nice. Yeah, I really love the vibrant colors. Obviously I draw in like very vibrant colors and stuff like that all the time. And I like how interesting each one of these are. This one is more of like a flower and it's got sad eyes. This one's a throwing star. Kind of reminds me of like a throwing star that I had. I got, um, I forgot what happened. I like went to the beach or something and there was like a beach shop and they had this really cool like triple bladed throwing star thing and I was obsessed with it. And then this post ascension <laughs> MB, which looks very cool and angelic. And then this corrupted one, which I really like. I like the idea of like a, like a evil MB. I think that's cool. And then we have Big Bro MB. <laughs> kind of looks like a marshmallow. I think it looks pretty funny. Next by Gelato Gaming, we have a bread bee, which is obviously just a bread. Another really simple concept that I think works very well. And they made a lore about it looking nice, but it would bite you. And the only time it didn't bite was uh, a kid and they befriended this little devil bread. <laughs> I really like it. I like the people that put like lore with the MBs. I think that's really cool. Next we have Rune B, which is very, very cool. And I like how you gave the symbols meanings and stuff like that. It's a rare MB that has the form of a magical rune. A lot of people really liked doing like rock and rune ones, which I think is really cool. I'm also pretty intrigued by like runes and stuff. Um, these two are made by Captain Neckbeard and they did a Rubik's Cube and a Choo Choo based one. The Rubik's Cube one I really like. I think Rubik's Cube fits pretty nicely with MB and I like how the swirl is like the middle piece of um, each side. And plus the colors works really well. You could do like anything with the colors and then Choo or Choomy Choomy is what you named it. Yeah, I really wanted to do this one. And honestly, some of these I might do randomly. So, um, but yeah, Choo Choo obviously is like the perfect Zelda creature to um convert uh mb into cloud nine made a dragon one which is really cool it kind of reminds me of um i don't know if you've played team fight tactics but there's a character in there called the river sprite and it has like a dragon form and this definitely reminds me of that so i think a dragon form of mb would definitely work very well and next we have these three by ile or ile sorry if i'm saying it wrong <laughs> Um, this one's a present, which is really cool. I think they said it was for like my future birthday or something like that. So thank you. I think it works really well. I like how the little top like bow is the different colors. And then we have an 8-bit MB, which is also really cool. There's only a few pixel art ones, but I definitely appreciate it. And then this last one is based on a daisy, which works really well. I like the little swirls that you put in each of the leaves. 
that was very creative and I also really like the colors. So when I saw this GameCube one, I immediately wanted to do it because I'm a big fan of the GameCube. It's one of my favorite consoles. I think it's one of the best consoles because it just, it's just, to me, it's just what gaming is. And a lot of my favorite games are on there. And I also wanted to do it because it kind of reminded me of when I was in school, I used to draw consoles and stuff like that, or like draw my own. And it kind of took me back um, to when I used to do that. I definitely kept it very similar to the uh, GameCube. They did a good job at simplifying the GameCube a lot, but for me, I just wanted to make it look even closer to the GameCube for some reason. And I think making the eyes, the little ports for the controllers is really fun. I like that you had a little memory card. You didn't have to have that, but I just like that you had that. Um, and I like this, how the swirl is now the logo for it. I just thought that was really, really fun. And it's called Game Bee, which I really like that name. I kind of gave it Rotom vibes by giving it that aura energy around it. So it has like this purple game energy around it. Overall, this is just a really fun one for me to do. And it took me back. Mr. Pencil made starter MBs, which I think is really fun. Obviously, they're fire, water, and grass type. And this would be a really fun like idea to do, like doing all three of these, making a simple fire one, a water one, and a grass one. Maybe in the future, I'll even do like an MB of every type or something like that. You guys can let me know though. These three were by Hecker, and they're all pretty different and pretty cool. So this first one is um, a paintbrush MB. Um, it's more of like a uh, galaxy ink in a way, but I really, really like it. I think anything paint related, like physical paint, like a physical art version of MB would be really cool. And then they also made this ink one, which I think is also really cool. I like the cracked glass in the bottle, especially as it kind of mimics the mouth. And then lastly, we have this one that's like, it's it's like a possessed MB inside of a rock or something. It's very, very cool. I like stuff with like mystery behind it. So it definitely is intriguing to me. Next by Pesky Burb, we have this very dapper looking MB. Its aura kind of created a fancy tie and it even has like a little top hat. And instead of having a mouth, it actually has a little mustache. So I really, really like this one. I think it's super fun. I could see myself making something like this. These three by Violet are based on cats and their name is Kibby, the galactic cat. It's what happens when Imbi interacts with a feline and its colors change depending on the season and it's technically fluffier in the winter. I really like these especially because, I mean, I have cats. I have five cats. If you've ever come to my streams, occasionally you will hear them meow. I really like the Halloween looking one. I'm assuming that one's for fall. And honestly, I could see myself asking to use this one for next Halloween just because I really like, I like the black cat look to it. And obviously making Envy a cat would be perfect. So yeah, I think it's really cool. Next by Dan the Man, we have Elementi, which is an MB of all the elements. This is a really cool idea. And I honestly, it would be pretty hard for me to do, but it would be a fun challenge, I think. But I definitely really like the idea. I love like anything involving different elements and stuff like that. So I really like this. Next by Octavio, we have Leafy, which is based on leaves. Another one that could easily be like a grass type Pokemon inspired one. And yeah, I think that's really cool. This is Tomate Timby, which is based on a tomato. Very vibrant and cool looking one. I really love the red and I love the aura around it. Another one where like Imbi simply being like a fruit or a vegetable works out so well since they're already just so small and stuff. These two by Ghostly Tarot are an Amber Fossil Imbi, which I really, really like this one like a lot. Um, I could see myself doing this one in the future. I think it's a very clever idea, making Imbi a little mosquito and the aura being the amber of like a, um, you know, a dinosaur skull. It's just very, very clever and very smart. Definitely one of my favorite ones. And then Ghostly Tarot even made this Spider-Verse one, which is like a MB portal. I think it's based on like the character of the spot or something. I haven't seen the Spider-Verse 2 movie, but you can see other MBs getting like absorbed into the different portals and stuff. Honestly, I didn't even want to do this one because I thought the style and stuff was just perfect as is. I didn't 
I feel like drawing it in my style would actually kind of take away from it. So I think you did a really good job on these. Next, we have a gear based MB and this one is very, very cool. I like drawing like mechanical and inanimate objects sometimes. So doing something like a gear is very, very cool to me. And I even like how it's, you know, it would be some sort of gear that has some sort of energy in it. Definitely kind of gives me a uh, cling clang vibes. Next by Jingle Bell, we have Canned MB, which is a candy based MB. And this one's really cool. It has so many different little references to different candies all over it. If you know me IRL, I'm a very big junk food person. So I love different candies and stuff like that. And so this one really speaks to me. Next by Solar Flare, we have a Pixel MB. And this one honestly is another one that I just really didn't do because I thought it was perfect already. Like I really like the angle. You made it look really flat, but like 3D in a flat world. Like I think you did it just perfectly. It's kind of like how I would imagine something like this. So me drawing it, I really wouldn't even have changed much, honestly. So, but thank you. This one by Taylor Ninja is a Pikmin MB, and I thought this was a really fun idea. I could definitely see MB being like a little Pikmin, um, especially with a little leaf on its head. This is one that I could definitely see myself doing in the future if I do like another Pikmin video or something. So earlier I showed one from Hecker, and they did a thing of ink. But I also saw this one by Base Cold Enjoyer called Pinby. And that's another one with ink. And I really like this one. It's so simple with the pixel art. And then I saw another one sent in on Instagram from a user named Dusk. And they also did an ink one. So I essentially said, I'm going to pick all three of these. And I'm going to kind of combine them all into one. Here we have Penby, since that was the one that had the name. And I kind of just combined it all three. So it's basically still a jar of ink. Um, it has a little label on it with the swirl, which I think is really cool. This is kind of inspired by what Dusk did. And then it has magical ink in it. And Dusk put that this ink is actually how I'm able to make my drawings and stuff like that. And it fills up with more ink with every subscriber, which I really, really enjoy that little bit of lore. And then I took the little ink quill from Pinby, and then I kind of just mixed Heckers in there as well. You all basically made the mouth like a crack in the glass, which is really, really cool that everyone was on that same page. And then I made the eyes these little metal star pieces. Overall, I just really like that three people were on the same page with something like this. And I, I felt like it just needed to be made and I, I just really like the idea. So I hope all three of you enjoy it. So in a way, three people won for this one entry. Hope you don't mind that all three of you were kind of mixed together, but I really, really like these, so thank you. These three were by Toaster, which I think they are perfect. Macarimbi, I love macarons, so I definitely like these a lot. Um, there's a strawberry one, a lemon one, and a pistachio one. If I had to pick one, I would definitely pick the pistachio. I love pistachio flavored stuff, so this is definitely my go-to one. I really like the colors. The swirl being on top is just perfect. MB looks so cute in there in the middle. I think it's just perfect. Next we have Funny by Just Diglett. Another one that I really like. I like the name a lot. It's just so simple because normally when I make an MB name, I just kind of make it end in I, but you know, it has the E sound. So it fits very well and I could see MB being a clown very easily. And I like how the aura it has is, or like the little balls it's juggling. I think it's really, really cool. Next by Buggle Lord, we have Kerbimby, which is based on Kirby. It seems like a lot of people like Kirby. I might have to make some more Kirby stuff in the future, but um, yeah, I really like this one. I think Kirby would fit perfectly as an MB form. It's kind of similar too because of it absorbing different things. So this is by Industrial Grade Trash Compactor, and they made a Salmon Eggs and Mr. Grizz from Splatoon 3 MB. Now, I've never played Splatoon. So I actually had to look these things up. And after looking at them, I could definitely say that you definitely mix these two things as about as well as you could while also mixing Ambien. So I think with that in mind, you did a really good job. Plus, I think the colors are really unique. So I definitely enjoy this one. Even though I don't really know anything about Splatoon, I still really like it. These two are by Zayla and they made Spasmy, which is an electric based MB. Very energetic and cool. 
Um, Zales actually made a few Link Dimension fan arts that I really liked. And I really like this MB form. If I was going to do like an electric MB, it would definitely look something like this. Um, especially with the eyes and how the swirl is kind of like bursting off the forehead. And then they did a last minute one with MB making MB a bird, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. Next by the user Link, they made two really cool ones, MB Bladeborn form and M Blade. Um, they're both fire and metal type. So they kind of made like a Link Dimension inspired one. They put, This form of MB will not hesitate to challenge even if it has the slightest chance to win. If it has no chance, however, it retreats. Its flame seems to contain steel particles, especially at the sides. When MB evolves, the steel particles form together to make M Blade's sword and shield. M Blade's right arm has formed to be soft and clay-like, letting it form around the hilt of the sword while its left arm has taken the shape and look of Aegislash's arms. I think this is really cool. Like I said, I love all the ones that have like a lore to them. And I love that you created your own and gave it an evolution. This is kind of like what I like about MB so much is that people can kind of interpret it in their own way and make their own forms. And like, even if you guys want to make stuff after this and show me, go ahead. <laughs> like, I love seeing it. But yeah, this is a really cool one. I really like the colors. Next by Emichu, we have two MBs that are based on fusions from things from Leak Dimension. So we have MB plus Pokai, which is the Po Pokemon. And then we have MB plus Karaoke. I really like the Pokai one. Emmy had asked me if what my favorite Link Dimension Pokemon is, and it's Pokai, just because I'm a big phantom type, ghost type Pokemon person. So and Pokai to me is a very simple Pokemon that I've made, I think, but I think it looks like the most like it would be a Pokemon, but still looks like a Poe. And then making Karaoke one and making it the music note because Karaoke is heavily involved in music just makes so much sense. I think these are really, really fun and I really enjoy seeing the ones that are involving Link Dimension and stuff like that. And I really like the style. Uh, I think like the flat color look is really nice. You know, it kind of looks like something that would be on like a t-shirt. This one by Nishi is Valimbi, which is a Valentine's Day candy MB. I really, really like this one. It definitely looks like candy to me. I don't know if it's like the flaky um, texture that's on it. I know you said you didn't mean for it to be like that, but I actually think it kind of adds to like the look that it's candy. Um, I like the colors. They're very Valentine's Day. Honestly, I would love it if you would let me kind of use this one for Valentine's Day uh, in the future. And yeah, I really like it. I like how the heart is like where the swirl is. I think that works really well. But Nishi also made two that are based on Kirby. Kirbimbi. <laughs> like I said, people seem to really like Kirby. Like I'm gonna have to do something Kirby related. And you know, once again, like, you know, Kirby works pretty well. Even though Nishi chose to do it a different way, it still works. And then even that, I don't, I haven't really played much Kirby, but I don't know if that's like a Kirby form or something. But that would also work. <laughs> Next by Tired Akko, we have Kakadimbi, which is based on a... I don't know how to say this exactly. It's like a Caduceus, I think. Um, it's basically the symbol of medicine, which is very, very interesting, like, like choice to base Imbi on. But another way that I could definitely see this working, especially with the wings, I think that would add, like, a really interesting element to it and, like, the snake look. It would definitely be a challenge to try and make it work, but I think it's a very interesting idea. And I really like the symbol. I like when things are based on symbols. By Minior Stargazer, we have Terabi, which is based on uh, dragons or tarragon. That's where the name comes from, which also means dragon. Another dragon one that I think would work really well. I like how you kind of just gave it like a little dragon nose and gave it those floppy dragon ears, kind of like, um, like Reuni. And yeah, like I said before, dragon ones would work really well, and I really like this one. Next by Twilord, we have a Digimon Metroid-based MB, which, honestly, the fact that you're trying to combine both of those is pretty interesting and pretty cool. I would definitely have a hard time mixing, like, Digimon and a Metroid, but I, I think that, like, if I really wanted to make it work, I could. And I think you did a pretty good job. I really like the Digimon eyes, like how Digimon have that, like, black, kind of, like, eyeliner look to their eyes. Yeah, Metroids are cool. I could see MB just being like either one or the other too. Like MB already has that like 
Um, I don't know what it's called in Digimon, but like the first form of a Digimon where they're like a ball. And MB could work very well as just a Metroid. So the fact that you chose to mix both is honestly really cool. Next by Sharkfin Kid, we have Daruk's Protection MB. And it's also based on a frog. So it's like a frog inside of Daruk's Protection. I think that's really cool and clever. And I think just that like aura that Daruk's Protection has with the little flame and stuff like that would just work really well. So I think it's a very, very smart idea. Next by Brody, we have Ebony, which I love that name. Um, they put, this mysterious creature is often seen roaming under the light of the moon. They are naturally clever and crafty and wander around getting up to mischief. However, underneath this playful personality lies a great power that even they struggle to control. This is a one that, like some of these, is already really good. And me trying to redraw it would just, I feel like, take away from like, the work that you put into it. I really like this because, like I said, I love ghosts and stuff. I like dark stuff. Even though I draw like really colorful things, I really like dark things. And I just, I love the way this looks. It kind of looks like what like a ghost MB would look like, especially with the hand and like the hair and the chain. I think you did a really, really good job. So thank you. Next up we have Rooney which is a pretty interesting one. Like I said, people like runes and rocks, and this is another one. It says, this creature is born when the asteroids merge with cosmic energy. After that, big swarms of Rooney go to the nearest planet, and by imbuing smaller rocks with cosmic energy, they can make a shield around it. When Rooney dies, it falls on the planet, creating giant monoliths. It is speculated that Rooney is some sort of form of Imbi. Like I said, the ones with the lore are just really, really cool. I definitely appreciate this and I love the story that you told with it. Like you took MB and you made your own thing from it. That's the whole point of it. So definitely a good job on that. And I love the colors and the look. This one by iTurtle is Indy and it's fire and fairy type. They put that this is the fulfilled form of MB. It enters this form when it is fully completed with life and this form allows it to create new MB while sacrificing themselves. Nobody knows where their spirits go after they have dissipated, however. So, a very interesting take on Envy. I like that it has this more like, f like it's completely flame. Like you took the, you took like the spacey, inky energy that it was, and you made that the aura, and you made the flame the body. And you also gave it this really happy expression. I think it's a very, very clever and smart idea. And I could see myself making something like this, so thank you. This one by Milky Way is Imbi in its suit forms and suits by meaning um, card suits. I really, really like this one. I like that you made a little template for it and you made it in this presentation form. I like that it's like based on stats and stuff. This is a really cool one. So they put, after Bill Sue's trip to Las Vegas, the Imbi that accompanied him was so inspired by the activities that took place there that it transformed into a piece of it. With the MB's power now split into four equal parts, all with different skills, it is said that those who are able to bring all four of its forms together once again experience a magnificent event. I really like that you made, like, my, like, gave me lore for MB, like, if I was to go to Las Vegas. I think that's so cool. It almost makes me want to, like, draw myself with MB, like, floating around me, kind of like Navi or something. I think this was just really thought out and just, it was really nice. I really enjoyed this. And I think you put even more thought than I would have into it. So thank you. This is by the Any Colored Pikmin. And it's just a dark MB. Honestly, this one was very, very cool to me. Um, they seem to not really have anything to say about it. Other than they wanted to say that it was a dark MB. Which, you know, so, like I said, even though I draw really colorful stuff. Something about this kind of spoke to me. Like it's just, it's very dark and evil looking but I really like it and you know there's no color or anything like that to it but like you could tell that it wouldn't have color even though he you know even though they drew it with no color you could tell that it wouldn't have any I just thought it was very interesting for the fourth one that I chose this was sent in by Spectre and this is plushy which by the name alone I already really liked it but I love how it's just a plush and a pincushion together I think it's so simple it just keeps Impy as just a ball 
and I didn't really want to change too much about it. I kind of made the patches my colors and I made them glow. And I even gave like a swirl patch on top. But other than that, besides adding a few pins, I didn't really change it too much because I just liked it that much. I also tried to give it like, um, kind of like a little pattern of, you could tell that it's some sort of material. And I like that the mouth is like a stitching. It seems like something that I would just like try to hand make myself, honestly. So I really, really enjoy it. I kind of made it to where the lore behind is that these pins are what has the energy and by having the pins inside of it, it kind of gives it life. This one sent in by Chris TD is in long or MB Zodiac form because this year is the year of the dragon. So I think that's really cool. It says the spirit inhabits a crafted form resembling a dragon head. The jovial energy that radiates from it has brought the dragon puppet to life. When it gets excited, sparks fly from its back. Enlong is a noble yet mischievous form of envy. Every year it makes a new puppet to inhabit and set free when the year is done. This form is its favorite, making it feel wise, powerful, and regal. It performs a dance of sparks at times of celebration or to ward off contentious spirits. I like all the stuff that you added to it. Like I like the bell, gong, necklace, and I like that it kind of looks like those um, dragon costumes that they wear. I also really like the color of the envy, how it's like this very light pink. A lot of people did different dragon ones, so I just think it's really cool. Uh, this one by Thunderstar911 is a water droplet, so we have another water one. Like the other water ones, it's just a su really simple way to just turn MB into something else that's like an element based. And like I said, if I do like an MB of every type, I will definitely be looking at some of these that you guys sent. This one by Short Guy is another Kirby one called literally Kirby, <laughs> and it's fire and fairy type. They put that, it is said that Kirby descended to this world from outer space. The extent of its power is unknown, but it can be seen shooting across the sky, searching for food and protecting the innocent. Some speculate that it may even be more powerful than Arceus. This one though is more based on Kirby's like, um, I don't know Kirby's forms, but the like fire crown one, I think. Like I said, I gotta do something Kirby related. People seem to really like Kirby. Uh, this one by Zway, who makes a lot of really cool cards. They have their own card game. I think it's really cool. Um, they made Imbolotl, so it's a Axolotl MB. <laughs> I could definitely see like an Axolotl form of MB. It's probably look pretty close to like something like Wooper, but yeah. Next from Lucas, we have a shooting star form of MB, and they put that it's fire and flying. This one is also really cool. MB is already related to kind of space stuff, so seeing it as a shooting star makes a lot of sense. This one by Ranger Pixel is Paint Bee. It's a paintbrush one. And they said that it's fairy and normal type. I also really like that you drew like the icons um, <laughs> at the bottom, because I always love the scarlet and violet normal icon with the little ears. But I really like the paintbrush MB. Obviously, like a paintbrush is kind of part of my logo in a way. So I can see myself making, like I said, a more of a physical, um, physical art version of MB. And I think a paintbrush would be a pretty good choice. This one by Kitty Maslin is a Mimikyu form of MB and they called it MBQ. I mean, we don't really know exactly what is underneath Mimikyu, so maybe it is MB. <laughs> now these by Immortal Lime Drake are all based on different cells. And they definitely put a lot of science homework into these and they're really, really cool. Honestly, like I'm pretty dumb when it comes to science nowadays. So I would feel like if I tried to make these, I would definitely screw something up by leaving something important out. But I like how you gave them all types. So first we have the support one, which is a fighting fairy type. And then we have the antibodies form, which is a fighting steel type. And then we have a macrophage form, which is a fighting dragon type. That's pretty cool. And then we have a neutrophil form, which is the fighting dark type one. And then we have the base form that they had made, which is called baby. And it's just normal type. And then the last form is the killer form, which is fighting psychic type. Like all these have their descriptions and stuff like that. And the amount of work that you put was just so extensive. I don't know if you know who Nordist is on YouTube, but he's also another Pokemon artist and he's making an entire Pokemon region based on um, 
STEM topics and stuff like that. So um, they have a lot of science-based, cell-based Pokemon, and I feel like this would fit perfectly like in their region. Like this seems like something that they would do. So I think it's super cool. All right, so next we have Smokey by Zavzav, and they make a lot of fake mon, and I really love this one. I think they did a pretty good job. Just the smoke coming out of the top, the little swirl etching, like, not etching, but kind of like the just indentation to make Imbi's face and the swirl, plus the fire underneath just works pretty well with, like, the aura silhouette thing it's got going on but this is another one that it's just it's so well drawn i just feel like i just feel like me drawing it would have just not really added a whole lot to it because i think it's just great how it is so yeah thank you zav zav i really like smoky a lot by maybe a coconut we have crimby which is based on a crystal ball i really like this one too um i like the colors a crystal ball is obviously another really good just simple inspiration for an MB form. I think they did a pretty good job and I like the little sparkles inside the like aura and yeah another really good one. Next by the metal swarm we have Prismy which is a really cool one. It's this MB like sphere inside of this prism and I really like the colors and the shapes. I think it's really abstract but you can tell that this is like a powerful form of MB, and I really, really like it. By Golden77, they actually have a couple of MBs. So we have a Toon MB, which is like an MB form that kind of looks like a rubber hose style, like the old Mickey Mouse cartoon. And then we also have a Link Dimension MB, which is, um, that is based on Link from Link Dimension. And I, like I said, I really love the Link Dimension ones. I think they're super fun. I like all the references to Link's design from Link Dimension incorporated into this one. Like the Triforce shards and even the Horn Sword, which is really cool, and the Triforce in the eyes. It's just a very fun design. Next we have, by Multiversal Adventures, we have another Link MB form, and this one is Forest and Spirit type. And like I said, another really good one. I mean, Link could easily be an MB form with just the classic cap head shape that it has and I just think it works pretty well it's really fun by Crystal Wolf we have Folky which is based on multiple famous Brazilian holidays just to summarize one is based on a one-legged boy with a red cap that smokes a pipe and another one is based on a fire serpent that protects forests and another one is based on another protector of the forest with red spiky hair and I think the it's really, really cool that they combined so many different things from a different culture and kind of created an MB form from it. And with what I've read, I think they did a pretty good job because, I mean, obviously it has the red cap and it's smoking a pipe. And I just think they did a pretty good job executing it. Now, next from Bouncy, we actually, it's not really an MB form, but they took the time to make a what if MB was in Link Dimension and kind of created their own pixel art template and gave MB a type and some stats and stuff like that and abilities, which is really, really cool. Um, I thought I would showcase it because they posted it in the in the channel and on Discord. And I just really like the layout. I think it's really cool. Um, I actually thought about myself making more of like a Sheikah based um, layout for Link Dimension. I tried to do it a couple times, but ultimately I decided to do like my own little thing. And I like that it's chromatic type. I think that's a cool type. So thank you, Bouncy. I think this looks really good. From Rykar, we have a few MBs that they did. First, we have NB, which is based on non-binary flag colors. I really like those colors. And then we have Pixie MB, which is based on a fairy or pixie, like maybe even the Pokemon Pixie also really like the colors and then they made a shock rock mb which once again more like electrically charged rocks which people just really like runes and stuff i guess um and then they even gave it an evolution which is like this electric golem thing and it looks really really cool 
Next from Virus Chris, we have Fierce Deity um, MB. Um, I really like Fierce Deity a lot. And um, we, we'll be seeing some Fierce Deity in the Majora's Mask video that I have planned. But yeah, I really like the facial markings. And like I said, Link's like cap head shape works pretty well for like an MB design. These next four are by Swirlo. They made Galacti, which is the interstellar form of MB. And it's based on classic green aliens, which is really, really cute. Then we have Sparkly, which is the hidden gem form, and it's based on geodes. Like I said, geodes, rocks. It's a really, really good idea for MB. And then we have CB, which is based on those little personal Voyager subs um, that people go down in. And then we have Copti, which is a little helicopter. These, those kind of remind me of like uh, Thomas and Friends, like the, the helicopter or the plane one. That's what those remind me of. But luckily for Swirlo, I actually chose Galacti as one of the winners. So thank you, Swirlo. I'm a really big sucker for like these cute aliens. And I think turning MB into like a little alien inside a flying saucer is just so fun. Um, I changed the colors a little bit with this one but I really wanted to keep the green. I really love like the alien green. And I decided to go with this teal color because to me that reminds me like a lot of space. And I actually gave it two swirls on the little bulbs on its head because well, it's an alien. So it having two swirls is maybe possible. And I, I just think this one's so simple and cute. I, I really like stuff like this. And I just, one reason why I just felt like I had to do it. So thank you, Swirlo. I hope you like it. From Count Wolfie, we have MB sus form. So we have a Among Us MB form. I could definitely see it. You know, MB's little face inside the spacesuit. It's just so cute. Um, I've actually never played Among Us, but obviously most people know what this is. So <laughs> very, very sus. From a Thurin hand, we have an Ocarina of Time MB. I was really tempted to do this one. Ocarina of Time is something really close to me, and I like how they have the Song of Storms um, on there, like how to play it or whatever. That's really, really cool. And I could totally see MB being an Ocarina. Next from Ivina Dawn, we have Candy, which is based on Christmas candy. Another food-based one, which I think works really, really well. I personally love candy stuff i was really tempted to do one of these candy ones and like i said i still might i would love for you to let me maybe use this for next christmas you know because for the holidays every year i want to do like a different kind of mb form from the previous one so yeah that would be awesome next from guy man 100 we have sparkly and i really really like this one because they made a 3d mb i don't know if they used blender but I just love that they, they put a lot of thought into this. Um, they made the shell, they said it's marble, the mouth is platinum, the glass is the eyes. And they really had fun with a lot of mixing of elements and stuff. And I really like that they spent the time to like use this as a way to practice Blender or whatever 3D program they're using. And that's kind of like the point of this in a way is like, you know, it's a way to practice something really simple for your creativeness that you're trying to work on. So um, I really, really like this. And I think it's cool. Um, next from El Great, we have Droppy, which is based on the ball dropping on New Year's. <laughs> and they say hordes of people from around the world gather and watch this occurrence. The counter on top of its head increases every time it drops. Legend says that as it falls and lights up numerous instead of just one, a great year will be ahead of us. Another New Year's one, which was really tempting to do. I think at the time I was just busy. That's why I didn't really do like a New Year's MB, even though I should have. But maybe next year I will definitely consider it. All right, from Joshua, we have the Holy Dragon Egg form of MB. It will fly above the clouds at top speed and will guide and protect good people. It cares for the egg on its head till it hatches and then it reverts back to a normal MB. I was really tempted to do this one and I would love for to be able to do it in the future. Um, maybe it might pop up in a video. I like stuff like this. I like that you gave it this very interesting lore and 
Um, I think its design is really, really cool. And I love like dragon stuff. And like I said, here's another dragon one. So people really want to see a dragon one. Um, next from Skylark, we have Seraphimby and Moonbee. And Seraphimby is based on like seraphs and angels, which it looks really, really cool. And then Moonbee is obviously the moon from Majora's Mask. <laughs> I could totally see MB being like that. I'd probably have to make it look a little bit cuter, but I still really like the idea. And I was pretty tempted to do something related to the moon. <laughs> In the Majora's Mask video, we'll definitely be getting the moon Pokemon. So um, I've already been working on that. From DNMon5, we got an apple and a worm MB. I really like this one. Another food one or like fruit related one. And I like that the worm is the mouth for MB and how the eyes are like pieces of the apple cut out. It's just so clever. Like people really know how to, they really took this idea and were really clever with it. It makes me really happy. From Agent Strike, we have a Magic MB, and I really like this one. And I love that you colored it so well on paper. It reminds me when I used to use Prisma colors way back in the day, um, like blending colors and stuff like that. And this is one where I like, I think it's perfect as is. I wouldn't have really changed it at all. And I think you did a great job like already. Um, so thank you. Next from Lunar Blade, we have a lantern one. So this is like one of those Chinese lanterns that you light with fire and they fly away. And this, like I said, it's another really simple idea, but it works so well. And I think they did a pretty good job. Next from Brandon Face Bear, we have another dragon, MB. I really like how this one kept the original colors and still had like fire. I like its facial expression. It looks like it will grow into a big dragon. But Brandon also did uh, doodled up some other ones. The dragon one is the one that they chose um, primarily, but I wanted to show off these other ones because I think they look kind of cool. So yeah, they ultimately chose the dragon one, but we, as you can see, we have a, we have a low poly one, which I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I've been trying to work on a low poly MB like to practice for my own 3D learnings. So I really like that one. I think that's cool. Um, that's one that like, I want to make in like 3D. Um, there's also a plush one, which, you know, plush MB, great idea. And then we have a TV one. And what I like about this TV and what I like about this TV one, like if I was going to pick one of these personally for me to draw, it would be the TV one because I really like that you based it on the TV thing that I made for my gaming channel that I'm going to be uploading like the Link Dimension devlogs on. And yeah, you modeled it after that. And I think that's just so like your attention to detail to that um, is really cool because I thought no one would care about that I made that but I like that you based it on that TV and I like the little signal swirl at the top um, you added that part but that would totally be on top of the TV so that's the one I personally would have picked if I had to choose um, but yeah I thought that was really cool so thank you Next from Cooper, we have a Keese one, another Zelda based one. This one was pretty cool. I really like how they gave it an eye and like they made the swirl a part of it and like the fire works with it because there's fire Keese. So that just makes sense. Um, yeah, it's another design that would easily work for MB, I think. Next from Gage the Artist, we have another Rubik's Cube MB. This one has more of like a pixel aura around it, but it's pretty much the same idea. As you can see, people have very similar ideas and I think a Rubik's Cube works really really well for MB so thank you. Next from CC Digital Art we have a Galaxy MB which looks like it has a lot of cat inspiration and I'm a big sucker for Galaxy stuff and I like the colors that you picked for it. Um, I really like purple and teal together or purple and just blue so I think it looks really really nice. Next from Valiant, we have another Easter based MB, and this one's more of a bunny really mixed more so with eggs. Um, like I said, another great idea. I would love to kind of mix some of y'all's inspirations for the eggs ones or the Easter ones together to hopefully make like a unified one based on the ones that you guys made. So uh, I really like this idea. From Crimson Umbreon, we have Cake MB or Cake cake MB <laughs> and it's based on cakes I really like this one I, I really like the food ones it reminds me of the cake one that I made but 
I just, I like how this, this one still looks like a lot different, even though it's still based on a cake, which is cool because like I said, people have kind of taken a certain inspiration and they've been able to do it a different way than other people, which is really, really cool. Even with the limited constraints that this kind of uh, contest had. So that's really, really cool. From creator Rosie, we have a personal brand MB, which I really, really like. I was extremely tempted to do this one and their personal brand, uh, they picked, you know, obviously they have Rosie in their name. So this is a flower based MB and their colors, they gave some meaning behind the colors. So green is about growth, which is true. Um, peach rose is about gratitude, which I didn't really know. And deep pink rose is to say thank you. So I really like that. I like that you have the meaning for the colors because I think colors are really important and colors always have some sort of meaning. So um, yeah, I really like this one. Next from Gabine 790 we have a Easter chocolate bunny pastel one. And I really like this one. I like the chocolate bunny aspect to it. And I love the pastel Easter colors. This is probably like exactly how I would do it if I was to do like a chocolate bunny one. And I would love for you to let me kind of maybe use this one for Easter. I just really, really like it. And if it was Easter, I probably would have picked it. <laughs> um, next, we have a Hollow Knight one, which I know a lot of people like Hollow Knight and Emmy fits pretty well with the Hollow Knight one. I like that it would be white with probably, I don't know what cut, like maybe Blackfire or something like that. I've never played Hollow Knight, but I like its art style and stuff, so. Next we have a Majora's Mask one, where it's MB wearing Majora's Mask. Um, I like that you can kind of see it's like twinkly eyes behind it and you put the swirl on the mask and the mouth. I think it's really, really cool. I could definitely see MB having the mask. <laughs> so thank you for that one. Next from Varmint, we have a jellyfish one. And this is another one that like, I really like your artwork on this one. <laughs> and I love that you made MB be a jellyfish. I could, I could totally see it, but I like the way that you did it. And I didn't even want to redo this one because I just thought you drew it so well. Um, I mean, you basically like drew it in an environment like you drew it underwater. I would have just drawn it like in a simple way, but you know, you put a lot of effort into like it's posing and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool. Now, and for the ghost artists, they made two of them. And I think they're extremely cool. So we have a FNAF Security Breach Eclipse. Another game I have not played, <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. I mean, I played like one of them, I think, like for a little bit, but that's about it. Um, this is another thing I had to look up, but I really like it. And I think MB being anything like celestial related is really, really cool. But the one I really like that you did is the D21. Um, I think that's just super cool. And I like the swirl as like one of the numbers. Um, and I, this is another one that you, like you drew it so well and like in a very interesting style that I feel like, I almost feel like if I did it in my style, it'd be like worse. So um, yeah, I really, really like this one. And for these two from Witherstorm, we have a sleep based MB and it's a very, very cool. It has a fire on it that makes you sleepy at least for the MB form, and that one's fire type. And then for Galaxy Inc, because they wanted to make an evolution, it's a sleepwalk form, and it's fire ghost, and it makes you sleepwalk. I really like the idea of like, you still made like it Galaxy Inc, but it has like a different kind of theme behind it. I like the whole dream sleepy aspect to it. I mean, we all like to sleep, so. Um, and I like that for Galaxy Inc, it kind of looks like a sleep cap for its head. It's just super clever and cool, and I really enjoy it. So for the last winner, we have the entry from Goofy Banana. They made MB or Honey. <laughs> and they put that MB slash Honey can be found roaming the fields, pollinating flowers, and collecting honey. They work with humans and provide them with honey for food and can be associated with Pokemon like Combi and Beedrill. I really like that you put it in the Pokemon universe and you have it interacting with other Pokemon. But I'm a big sucker for anything bee related. Like I love like bee aesthetic. So I really had to draw this one. And although mine looks quite different from yours, it's nothing wrong with yours. There's nothing wrong with yours at all. I just wanted to 
kind of interpret it in my own way, but still use like your idea of a bee. And so, you know, I made it to where it's kind of have honey. It has honey like dripping off of it. Um, it doesn't really have an aura to it. Like, MB doesn't necessarily have to have an aura, but I try to give it some source of power somewhere. And so that's what the honey is. And instead of stinging, it actually uses its stinger as like, a, a, it makes honey. It gives you honey. Um, so instead of it being dangerous to take honey from a bee for MB or honey, it actually wants to give you honey. And uh, it's just such a simple design. I mean, I think it's super cute and I really enjoyed making it. So uh, I hope you like it. And that's all of them. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't really like the most put together thing in the world, but I kind of just wanted to show off everyone's designs and just have like a different type of video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you on the next video. I don't know what it will be yet, but I am working on multiple things. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.